bling bling from the Mebladen Mid- Mid- mining district in Morocco. Never, never a dull moment with these beautiful vanadenites. So well formed. In this case, the crystals are pretty large. As you can see there, the main crystal. I actually see no contact across this face. Um, the, the back of the specimen hasn't got the crystallization yet. You've got these vanadenite crystals jutting out, almost making a plume there. So if you have it on a display standing lengthwise, you're going around like this, going around like that. And standing flat, we'd have this effect. I would actually display it this way around, just to give it that, that almost a halo across the top. Dark uh, uh, orange to red vanadonite crystals. Um, with strong lighting, you'd be able to see through them, so they are gem. Associations here, typically we'd find some barite associated. Maybe some of the white material would be minor barite, and the black material would be girthite. Sitting on this almost a compacted clay. All the way from the Mebladen mining district in Morocco, famous uh, a deposit for the most exquisite vanadinite. I don't know if these are the biggest in the world, but quite possibly. I know that um, in, in the States, uh, it's, uh, collectors love the biggest uh, uh, representation of a species, whereas in South Africa, we are very stuck on our lo- locality. So uh, a locality or provenance uh, gives... gives uh, rarity or estimation of value in our case. So it, it varies from country to country. Actually very interesting habits from different countries. Um, the Nadanat from Morocco.